Hello, and welcome to Easy PC Quilt. My name is Julia Tiedemann, and today I'm happy to be making the poppy quilt with you. During World War I, Dr. John McCrae was a surgeon who wrote the famous poem and very powerful poem in Flanders Field. After that, the poppy became known as a symbol of sacrifice of our service members. This quilt was designed with that poem in mind, and that is why it is called Poppy, and that is why it is red, white, and blue. This quilt, however, is very versatile, and I feel like if you make it in different fabrics, it takes on a whole new life and a whole new meaning. I've made it in floral design, which is very beautiful for spring and summer, and just seems more like a farmhouse decor type of of pattern and this is um, Flower Garden by Echo Park for Riley Blake fabric uh, collection and I had um, someone email me after Poppy came out last year and she said those flowers look like dogwoods and that's why I love you guys emailing me and giving me feedback because I looked at that quilt and I said, I think it looks like dogwoods too. So I made a small table topper with fabrics that I thought looked like dogwood. So this is also Riley Blake fabric, um, a shabby fabric, as well as some of their gingham collection. But I think that the pinks and greens are really beautiful for spring. The dogwoods right now are just in full force and really, really beautiful. Um, I had this on my table for Easter. So this pattern is really fun and you can make it more than once and get uh, almost a completely different quilt with a completely different look. But it's also very beginner friendly and it is a fun quilt to put together. And so I'm glad you're here to join me for Poppy. poppy petals or are poppy petals I guess and you need four per flower and you need smaller squares you're going to put a smaller uh, black square or whatever square you want for the center of your poppy on one corner line up the corners of the square and then on the other corners you're going to take your background fabric and line those up on each one of the corners and you'll do that for all four of the squares all the way around and you'll continue along here and then let's just take one of the petals here what you're going to do is you're going to you can either eyeball it or you can draw your lines but you're going to sew from corner to corner on these smaller squares so usually the best way to do it is to draw a line and then this one's hard to see but you're going to also sew from corner to corner this way and then the last square will go this way. And 
And the best thing to do is to sew right on the outside, just barely on the outside of that line towards the outside corner. So on the side of the outside corner, that'll give you just a, that little extra bit to go ahead and flip that. You're going to trim this portion of the block. You're going to trim this section off and you're going to flip this. And when you flip it, if you sew just on this side of the line, it'll give you a little bit extra fabric to make that flip um, a little bit more square. So this is really easy to chain piece. This quilt comes together so quickly because what I do is I first take and I decide, okay, I'm going to sew all my centers on. And so I will take up to my machine a pile of the petals and then i will take a pile of the center squares and i will just start sewing from corner to corner and then i take the next one and i'll line that up and just chain right through the machine the next the next one through and then the next one through until i get through the entire pile that I'm doing to make my quilt. However many, uh, the pattern will tell you how many to use to make each quilt size. And then I'll go through and I'll cut those all apart. And then I will have a pile of these petals and I'll have a pile of these pieces. And so I will do the exact same thing. I will go ahead and line that up. Also from corner to corner, I will run this through the machine and then I will take the next piece and I will sew that corner to corner right after that one. And I'll take this one and so on and so on. So, and once I get done with that, that corner, then I'll take that pile. And again, I will just go around to the next one and I will sew from corner to corner and take the next one and sew from corner to corner. So, before you know it, your pile is going to be complete and you will have all your corners sewn, all your little squares sewn on each corner of your petals. And once you've done that, we'll come back, we'll trim them. I will show you how to press them because the pressing is an important step in this quilt because it'll allow you to nest all these little corners and it'll make it look really nice in the end. So we'll go ahead and sew the corners on our petals and I will be right back. Here we have the sewing, the stitching done. You can see I sewed just on the outside of our line. If you can see that. And we sewed corner to corner on our poppy center. And I've trimmed the outer uh, corners with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. And I went ahead and did the other uh, petals, but I went ahead and pressed them out. So they all looked like this before. Then what I did was I took my petals and I put them in two equal piles. So half of your petals will be in one pile and half of your petals will be in the other pile. And you will want to do this because you are going to press this pile's here and this pile's here. So you are going to want to press your piles in opposite directions. That's why you're putting them in two different piles. So in one pile, you are going to press all of your seams this way with, with the red being pressed to the outside. And then on this pile, you're going to press in all your seams this way so these seams are going this way out these seams are going this way in and you can tell the difference because obviously you can see the white on this part and the red on this part and the reason that you're doing that is because you're going to pair your seams that are going opposite directions when you make your poppy so these two will go together and you can see that if you sew these two together 
like this that the seams will nest so this seam is going this way this seam is going this way you come down here this seam is going that way and that one is going this way so that way when you sew these two uh, together when you open that seam up all your points will align really nicely and the pattern also talks about um, how to do the other side so you're going to want if you have your seams going this way here you are going to want your see these are opposite way seams are going the opposite directions so that's good so you'll want to put your your top one together like that and then we'll press this one out um, as well and then that way when you, after you get done pressing this and open this and you and you uh, sew this section and open it back up then these seams all along this seam will also nest and this is talked about more in the pattern and it makes more sense and it's all laid out but essentially what you want is you want nice nesting seams on all of the places that you're putting this block together so that when it comes together everything these points will match up really nicely so I'm going to go ahead and press this. We're going to put, we're going to sew this, these two petals together. We're going to sew these two petals together. And then we're going to put the block together from top and bottom. And we will have our poppy done. All right. So here is our poppy block. And you can see that by uh, nesting these seams all along, we've got pretty good points. Um, this one may be a little off, but for the most part, I think it looks pretty good. And let's look at the back here. So here is um, our poppy um, petal, and we have all of our seams going this way. And same with this one. So the opposite um, petals are pressed the same direction. And these petals are all pressed this way and the same as this one. So that when you put these two together and these two together and with the seam here, they are nested and the same along here. And then the last seam that I put, it's actually should be this way because this is the last seam that I did. Um, I just press that one open and that'll kind of get rid of some of that bulk as well. So that is the poppy block. That is all there is to it. And let's go on to the, I called it the lattice block. I thought it looked like lattice that the poppies were popping through. So I went ahead and did the same thing that we did on the corner of the poppy petals, which is sewed, it's hard to see that. There is a seam going now my pen doesn't want to work either there is a seam going from this corner to this corner and from this corner to this corner on all of these blocks so you will assemble this by sewing all these corner to corner and then you're going to trim these same way we trimmed the poppy petals and press these out it it doesn't really matter um there these seams are not going to nest because they're going to be up against this piece here but i like to most of the time i didn't do this on the poppy because i chose nesting seams over um over this but I will press these corner stitch and flips open like that. They will lay flatter. They will be more square. Um, and I think that they look better in the end. So you will uh, do that with four pieces like this. And then this piece goes like that. And this piece goes like that. And I'll go ahead and trim these um, and press them. That way you can see a little bit better 
the the orientation of all the seams on that portion but uh, this is the lattice block so I'm gonna go and trim these uh, seams we'll press them and then I'll show you how we put the block together here are all the components of the lattice block so we've got all of our corners sewn on these pieces we've got the seams pressed open this is another part of the quilt that is really fast for chain piecing you just put your pieces over the corners run all these pieces through the machine at one time and then you have your pile and you do the other corner and trim and press and then before you know it you're here and um, so on this part of the block I assemble it by putting these two pieces and attaching them to that piece these two pieces will attach to this piece and these two pieces will attach here so we're going to make three horizontal rows and once I have that accomplished I will come back and we will talk about how to press these so that the seams between the rows will go ahead and nest here we are with the three rows and I have pressed toward the uh, solid squares so these squares this square and this square um, so as you can see these uh, seams are out this seam is going in and these seams are pressed out so that when you put these uh, three rows together and you put this on one on top of the other that you will see that these seams will nest nicely you can see that they uh, one seams going this way and that way and that is another way that you can just line everything up and I didn't use pins for this quilt at all um, and it's fine if you do you you know it's whatever works for you uh, it, that's the beauty of quilting nobody is looking over your shoulder about what to do what you did what you didn't do it's all about what works for you so let me sew these three rows together and we'll see our finished lattice block and then I will show you how it fits into the quilt here is the lattice block completed and we have our corners that were nested and all three rows are together and those are the first or excuse me those are the only two blocks in this quilt so they just alternate and now you know how to make poppy it is pretty easy here is the finished quilt poppy's finished quilt and you can see the poppy blocks alternating with the lattice blocks and that is all there is to this quilt thank you so much for joining me for poppy this quilt pattern comes in three sizes there is a 45 by 45 inch crib or table topper version and honestly i made a an even smaller version i made a 27 by 27 inch um, just for the center of a table which was really easy um, and there's also a throw size which is uh, 63 by 63 and a queen which comes out at 81 by 81 it's very easy to use layer cakes in this pattern um, it, it comes together very quickly I would love to see this quilt be used in a charity for the American Legion uh, American Legion auxiliary I think that that would be a really cool way to utilize this quilt uh, for a lot of good. So if you have any ideas with that or your, your American Legion Auxiliary decides to do that, I would love to hear about it. And I hope that you enjoy making your own poppy quilt.